When I was flying into San Francisco Airport, I looked out the, at, at the sky and at the landscape, and I noticed that there was this nice layer of clouds out there. And I was reminded of the fact that everyone today is wondering what cloud computing is about. But the difference between cloud computing is we're going to have to implement it in reality. And what I saw out the window is eventually, as the plane was descending, at some point we came under the cloud and there was nothing there. If we try to do that in a cloud computing environment, it will be absolutely disastrous because the clouds need some place to land. So although we're introducing a new business paradigm, the paradigm of the cloud, where I can take an application and I can solve a particular problem by having that business solution float from point to point, if we don't have something real underneath of that cloud, we're going to be in trouble. And so what we need to start doing now is we need to start figuring out how we can take a cloud infrastructure and implement it on what we have today. We can't afford to rip and replace everything that we have. We can't go through and design clouds from the ground up. We have to start with the foundation of where we're at. So that means a couple things. That means we're going to have to take this evolutionary concept of a cloud and we're going to have to figure out how to re-implement that with the existing infrastructure. Now that's going to cause some problems. One of the problems is going to be that the infrastructure that you have in place simply isn't going to be capable of handling the type of environment you need for the cloud computing. And so you're going to have to build an infrastructure that's robust. You're going to have to build an infrastructure that is able to take varying workloads. It's going to have to implement systems to integrate into the legacy storage devices and the servers that you already have. But you're also going to have to make sure that as you do that, you're going to integrate seamlessly with the data sets, with the applications, with the business needs. And you're not going to find a single solution that's going to address all the different markets. Many people today are making the mistake of painting themselves into a corner with one particular proprietary protocol or one particular out-of-the-box solution. Solution. But in reality, as we talk to businesses, we find out that they need a variety of different solutions for precisely the same reasons that people have a variety of different storage solutions and server solutions today. And so that means that when people are building out a cloud infrastructure, today they can't think in terms of a single hypervisor, or they can't think in terms of a single type of platform or a single operating system. They need to build out a robust infrastructure that's going to allow them to add whatever they need in the way that they need it and have it all interoperate seamlessly. Now, one of the keys of having that implemented correctly is industry standards. Industry standards are going to take us from where we are today, and it's going to allow us to take this evolutionary concept of cloud computing and redeploy it on the platforms that we have today. It has to be done through industry standards to make sure that you don't find yourself in the situation of essentially having to jack the whole house up later while it's still got people in it and completely replace the foundation and put it back down today. Today we're building networking infrastructures according to industry standards to make sure that as new breakthroughs are made, new hypervisor technologies are introduced, new layers of virtualization are standardized and become available, and as new storage devices are rolled out, we're going to be able to integrate that so that now when it's finally time for you to deploy that business solution and you choose to use the cloud envelope to deploy it in, you're not going to have to go out and reinvent the wheel. You're going to be able to add it to the infrastructure that we already have. That's what we're working on today. That's how we're taking people from the revolutionary concept of cloud computing into an evolutionary process to take their network and infrastructures through to be able to successfully deploy cloud computing.